you will recall from a previous module that the partial differential equation that describes transient heat transfer can be solved only for three geometrical shapes the sphere, infinite cylinder and infinite slab. However in food processing quite often we have finite shapes of objects and we are interested in determining either how long it will take to heat or cool an object or what will be the temperature in the center of the object after some time. The charts that we saw before for sphere, infinite cylinder and infinite slab can be combined to determine heat transfer in certain finite shaped objects. Let's look at two of those finite shapes. One is a finite cylinder. Now mathematically we can prove the following relationship. The temperature ratio Ta minus T divided by Ta minus Ti for a finite cylinder equals the temperature ratio Ta minus T divided by Ta minus Ti for an infinite cylinder times the temperature ratio Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti for an infinite slab. In other words, we can combine the solutions obtained for an infinite slab and an infinite cylinder using this equation to find out the temperature ratio for a finite cylinder. This is illustrated in this diagram that shows a finite cylinder that is part of an infinite cylinder and part of an infinite slab. What does this really mean? Well, in case of heat transfer, we are saying that when this finite cylinder is part of infinite cylinder, then heat is transferring only from the radial direction. And because it is an infinitely long cylinder, no heat will be coming from the ends. However, if this cylinder is part of an infinite slab, then the heat will be coming only from the ends and not from the radial direction. So this is a way to combine the two solutions and obtain temperature for a finite cylinder. Now this is very useful to us because as you know most of the cans used in food canning operations are cylindrical and the when they are heated heat must flow from the radial direction as well as from the two ends. So we can use these Heisler charts for finite cylinders. There is another brick shape that we can also consider using these charts and the equation is as follows. A temperature ratio Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti for a finite brick shape equals temperature ratio Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti for infinite slab when the width is taken as the fixed dimension times the temperature ratio Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti for infinite slab when the depth is taken as the fixed dimension times Ta minus T over Ta minus Ti for infinite slab when the height of that slab is taken as the finite dimension. So in other words we can use the chart for infinite slab three times and multiply the three temperature ratios we get to obtain the temperature ratio for the finite brick shape. Again we will work through a numerical example in another module to see how we can obtain temperature ratio for a brick shape. So again in food processing a brick shape is commonly used. Uh, you are all familiar with bread uh, which is a brick shape so we can estimate the heat transfer from the from the various sides uh, of a brick shaped object by using this method. 